Open access is just one of those things that should be a given as far as scientific research is concerned. Science works on an open interchange of ideas. And if things aren't available, then ideas aren't being interchanged. I think it was Oscar Wilde who said something like, you know, the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. Now, scientists want to be talked about. They want their ideas to be talked about by other scientists, other people, and open access promotes that. Why should you do something really interesting and hide it away so nobody can see it? There doesn't seem any point in it. So I, I have strong views on, on open access publishing, but really that comes from my own strong views on, on open data. I find it very difficult to understand people who want to keep their data closed when it's been funded by public domain resources for the good, generally, of, of everybody. I see no reason not to make uh, your data fully accessible. Open access is going to be sort of the, uh, the model that is going to drive the egalitarian distribution of scientific information. And as we go towards uh, increasing globalization, where um, you know, marketing and industry and economies are linked, I think it's a no-brainer that we should also think of ways in which we can link scientific information so that everybody globally can, in fact, uh, share uh, in the development of knowledge. Over the last year, few years, I've found uh, that the way I use the literature is, has changed completely. Uh, everything now happens with the computer uh, and uh, my normal mode of working is to go to PubMed, uh, search uh, and then cl click on the links. When I see one of those little icons uh, for the open access to the, uh, to the, the full document, uh, I'm more likely to read that work. The people who do publish in open access journals will find their work being more used and more accessible by a growing group of people, whereas people who continue to publish in closed journals well, I'm afraid to say, have their work dismissed or ignored uh, over time. Another advantage of open access, uh, of course, is that people in the developing world uh, have complete access to the literature, which uh, even the major journals, they often don't get access to uh, with the conventional model. Anybody, you can talk about a scientist who is in Cuba, you can talk about a graduate student who might be in Kenya, you can talk about even your son and daughters, uh, your sons and daughters who might be in high school and doing a science project, okay? Virtually anybody who has access to the web, okay, can read your information and can benefit from your information. Open access publishing is uh, clearly the way of the future for um, libraries and the academic community. I see open access publishing as the first step towards a sort of new future where all of the results of scientific research are available openly and in a coordinated manner. This model has some really important uh, sort of epic changing uh, uh, effect on how we go forward, not just in publishing, but how we go forward in terms of distributing knowledge you know, as a civilization. Uh, it is really an unprecedented opportunity. As far as I'm concerned, uh, I think that uh, publishing through open access is doing the right thing. <laughs>